Hit the like and comment, family. Let's go. On a comeback, we examine some of the leaderships. Mark Golden and uh, Andrew Holness, you know. Mark Golden is a very reactive leader, you know. Reactive in the sense that, look here, the other day when the wall we come and we say, here what, you're going to need to resign either or either, you know. We don't hear the man say nothing about that, you know. But apparently, he Roy Clark, and whatever he said, he said, I haven't seen any information. But we don't see in a newspaper say he might give he Roy Clark until Monday for apologize and do a bag of things because him no want no disrespect. So it seems to me that if Mark is not personally affected by anything, then it doesn't affect him at all. So he is reactive when it comes to things that bother him personally, unlike the Prime Minister Andrew Holness. People have said all kind of things about Andrew Holness, you know. And even today, the newspaper tells us that the Prime Minister say his administration will respond to people spreading lies. If he was reacting to it, then he would have no need to come out and say, administration is going to respond. Now, why is he saying that to us? Because Andrew has been focused on performance. Andrew has been focused on the nation's business. Now you're the argument I know. Andrew won the local government election. And at the time of doing this video, we're seeing in the newspaper, we heard him say it at a conference the other day on Sunday, that they're going to make changes arising from the local government polls. Now why is this so? Just like Andrew said, even after winning, him say, the Jamaican people, they have spoken, and we are now going to go back to the drawing board and we are going to take action to respond to the needs of the people. Andrew was looking at the metrics from a higher perspective in terms of growth for the nation, growing the economy, and so on. But in terms of certain people having certain needs, and him say, he going to do something about it. He said it then, he's still saying it now. We can all attest to the fact that since the local government election, Andrew has been busy on the ground. Yes, hold your people accountable because you can't do it alone. On a perform already, on a door, let it go. Make them continue to criticize because you are doing a great job, Andrew. And they can't deal with it. You are doing a great job. That's what it is. This man out there send warning to anybody who disrespect him or his wife. I guess him want to look good, you know, like he's the kind of man who stands up and deals with issues as they arise. Talking points again. It is not a distraction that you are a dual citizen. It is not a distraction that you have deceived the Jamaican people. And at 20 or much days now, we are waiting for you. If it make we know if you're going to resign or you're going to renounce. That is not a small issue at all. Furthermore, Jamaicans been looking at your conferences, the very information that you put out. We don't hear no talking points about what you're going to do better or what you're going to do di differently. All you're there talking about is, them can't stop me, man. I win, we go win. Yeah, man, they worried or no. All you do, I rile up one set of people who do not represent the views of well-thinking Jamaicans. So, me go make you know how well-thinking Jamaicans think. Big up, RT. We Jamaicans must be very careful of Mark Golden's divide and conquer us tactics. He is causing rivalries and sowing discord among us. I'm a Jamaican who live abroad in the so-called diaspora. I have a dual jamaican and british citizenship i cannot speak for the millions of us in the diaspora but i can speak for the ones i know personally none of us including myself believe that jamaicans with dual citizenships should be sitting in our parliament so mark golden and his supporters does not speak for us and i have a suspicion that he does not speak for the majority of Jamaica abroad. Either Mark Golden's divide and rule policy is intended to cause disagreement between Jamaicans at home and abroad because he's afraid that we might otherwise unite against him. 
Mark Golden cannot be trusted. Since he entered Jamaican politics in 2007, he has intentionally covered up and hid the fact that he was a British citizen. All in now, we are finding out the truth as he is seeking to lead the country with his British citizenship. He was promoted to Parliament illegally, piece of Justice Minister illeg illegally, and he was promoted to leadership of the opposition illegally. He has been collecting salaries and making laws illegally. What I cannot understand is this. Why haven't anyone from Andrew's administration, and I'm going to read the rest, taken this case of political fraud to court to have this imposter thrown out? If Andrew Holness was the one with dual citizenship, we know that the comrades would have this in court by now. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. That's the kind of well-thinking Jamaicans Mark has forgotten. He has to win over, which he will not. Let's go again. This is how we see life. This is another person now. This is how we see life as it is. We take a lesson from the past. This is the best government to ever come to power in our history. We in the silent majority is very observant of their behavioral pattern and work ethics. Overall, these are some very serious young people. We watch them as they go along. Regardless of all the outright distraction, all outright disrespectfulness, nasty propaganda, with childlike madness unheard of, the young prime minister and his remarkable cabinet hold their heads up. I agree. Big up. They hold their heads up high and dig their heels in and continue to work with in, the, in the interest of the people. This is a record. The PM is serious. The PM is a serious young man, a type that we have never seen yet in history. Bear in mind, no government in the history of our country has ever had to deal with anything like the COVID-19 pandemic of any economic situation and a crime situation to the breaking point, we as decent and well-thinking Jamaicans must give the PM his cabinet, PM and his cabinet the respect that they deserve. It's remarkable, hopeful and encouraging to well-thinking Jamaicans. He's a brilliant young man. One more thing, he is the first Jamaican leader to ever seriously pray over the nation that he was elected to be in charge of. This is a very serious thing that mean the young people is no joke. We in the silent majority pray for the great big almighty over all little gods. Protect them and guide them on their journey for our countries upliftment and success bless up thank you that was excellent i agree so that's an elder telling you that listen the young people that we have right now running our parliament is good andrew is the blueprint for the future of politics in jamaica the current uh rise people that we're seeing right now that call themselves the pmp they want to take us back a lot is happening in jamaica man just the mere fact that they're not criticizing the prime minister on performance the opposition is no longer hungry andrew give them a big fat salary the other day and the whole of them big and fat again so right now it's all a big game for them they're not even sitting down and thinking about critical issues they're not even putting together any kind of agenda to communicate to the people for us to say oh that sounds good enough but i wonder if they will do it 
No, that's not what we're seeing. All we're seeing is a whole lot of noise on the road. Meanwhile, the winner, the true winner, is drawing up the play so that he can also secure a third term, which I believe that he deserves. So, yeah, man, check out your people them way. They're on you and they are working. That is what you call responsive leadership. That is what you call proactive leadership. You know the issues that are out there and you address the issues accordingly. Andrew is on the ground with the people. Sunday when we hear Andrew are talking, you know, Andrew was just talking to the people. He took his time and he said what he said. He broke it down. He explained to the people. He connected. He bonded with the people. You can see that when this man goes out there to interact with the people, he is handing over houses. We're seeing all kinds of things. When he goes out and he does these things, you can't say a politics or the politics, a phone of business. He's the better politician if you just want to boil it down to politics. You understand me? He's out there and he's doing it with the people. He is responsive to the needs of the people. He listens to the people and he takes action um, on behalf of the people and based on what the people are saying. That is a leader that is responsive. That is what we want for Jamaica. One of the things that every study has shown you know, is that the younger generation that we're dealing with right now, it doesn't matter where they are in the world, they despise the old ways of doing things. The younger people, they despise the older ways of doing things. They need leaders who are accessible, personable, you understand me? Relatable. Leaders who are brilliant, who have cutting edge futuristic thinking. Leaders who are paving the way for others to come on board, for other young, young leaders to come on board. Andrew came from the common Jamaicans. And this, this is the prime minister who has shown us that the common Jamaican can truly ascend to national leadership. We don't want the British citizen to come and rob us of the opportunity for, for real Jamaicans, authentic Jamaicans, who born here just like PJ say, to, to take Jamaica into the future. That is what we need. We have enough bright people. Andrew is here. He's the better politician than Mark Golden. He's more brilliant, if you ask me, for this job, since he's getting the job done unlike any before him. Big up to the man, Andrew Holden. Mark Golden now go now, eh? And that may I say. The man here, unlike Andrew Holness, is out of touch with the reality of what this current Jamaica needs from a prime minister. This may have been the, his aspiration from a youth, aspiration so strong that he find himself in a parliament illegally. Now, Mark Golden, this man, if Mark Golden is not responding to something as basic as you have, got, you have got to renounce your, 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 your UK passport. Him, him have three weeks now. Him come out and say that he's on the road campaigning, having a jolly good time. Meanwhile, we're looking at him and say, but that this man, he's deceptive. He's unethical. Him no fit yaso. He's blocking Jamaica from moving towards our ultimate independence. And he thinks this is okay. But as I said before, Remember, there is no such thing as prime minister for one political party. You will have to try and win over the other people who are talking. And you indicate already so you're not loyal to the people. Three weeks now, all over social media, everywhere, in the media, everywhere, everybody is calling for this man to give up the citizenship in the UK if he wants to continue, at the least. For me, in can go on for all I care. But he's not responding to any of that. He is just out there in a bubble, unresponsive, and not really listening to the needs of the people on the ground, just doing something here, there, sending out his little pictures here, so and there, so having his little conferences and then making up a whole bag of noise. But this Amania, he's not responsive um, to the people. He is reactive and He's not even reactive in terms of his work being criticized because we don't see what he's doing out there for anybody to really criticize him. So for now, it's just like 
He is just there. Jamaica needs a good opposition leader. We need a good opposition leader that can rightfully challenge the current prime minister on issues, not disrespect the prime minister, not continue to talk about he needs to get his um, statements certified. That talking point is done now. You can know the few talking points they have. You know, if if Andrew was if Andrew was not a great leader, you don't you know, have much more to say. You are not the man for the job, Mark Golden. And I hope on election day or before that, you will find out like you're supposed to. Please like, share, and subscribe. Steady.